front. He t- they make oh. contact. Oh, no. And he collects up the entire group. So oh. Earnhardt makes contact with Millen. And we've got some seriously wrecked cars out there. Yes, we do. This is the second consecutive IROC race in which Dale Earnhardt has been involved with a crash. You remember at Daytona, he and Al Unser came together on the last lap. Now this. So the leader of the race is still Mark Martin. He and Jeff Gordon were well ahead of the action coming off of turn two. But the yellow flag flies. Laps under yellow do not count at the International Race of Champions. And we've got some cars with some severe damage that could have an adverse effect on any championship that Dale Earnhardt had in mind. Boy, there is debris on the racetrack, too. I would imagine all four or five of those cars are going to be damaged to the point they'll not be able to race competitively. We see Rusty Wallace's car. Wallace with front end damage to his car. Here it is, Benny. Watch again, Earnhardt on the inside, just trying his best to get on the inside of Steve Millen and they just make slight contact right there. And Millen's car starts sideways, and there's nothing he can do to control it. Just enough to twist Millen around. You see Schrader moves high, and he gets clear of it. And then Millen comes back up to the wall. Rusty Wallace gets Earnhardt. Rudd gets Rusty Wallace. And of course, Earnhardt into the side of Steve Millen. So some heavy damage on Earnhardt's, Wallace's, and Ricky Rudd's car. Mm. There's Rusty Wallace. Boy, that front end's bashed. Let's see what the IROC crew can do with that. You can see Wallace has definitely been in contact otherwise. Another view of this situation that set up this yellow. And you can see there's no place for these guys to go. Should Millen have tried to dial it down, spin it to the inside? I don't think he could have. I don't think there's anything he can do to get it to the bottom of it. Jeff Gordon down. He catches him, but he just simply cannot get by. And Kendall now goes back in all this to some. As you pointed out, though, uh, Benny, Kendall in that lime green car just, uh, just off to the right of the screen has a bad understeer. You see him come off almost every one of the turns right next to the wall. Still, he's right back there, closing a bit on Kenny Schrader. This will do wonders for Mark Martin's point situation. Points for leading the most laps. Martin came in here at 19 points. And it looks like he's going to leave here with a win. We can just keep it together for a few more laps. Come to Mark Martin, Jeff Gordon, Kenny Schrader, and Tom Kendall. Three way battle for second place. Once again, that slope that you see when the cars go down in the corner, they hit a bump, plus they touch the brakes. The bodywork goes down and touches the tire, and that's the little puff of smoke we see. Remember that Kendall has uh, run Winston Cup. Sears Point and uh, done awfully, very, awfully well. So this is not wholly unfamiliar to him. Three laps to go as Mark Martin goes by. The signal from NASCAR flagman, Doyle Ford. Still the fight for second place. Here's Kendall right a little high going in. And high coming off. Notice the reflection of that lime green car in the wall. What can Schrader do here? He's, he's been aggressive, but he's been unable to handle up Jeff Ford. I think he's backed off a little bit right now. He's trying to get a run. He wants to catch Jeff at the exact of the right place with a run. Coming off four or two. There's there's Doyle Ford. Give the signal two laps to go. And Schrader desperately wants to get a run here off the corner or four to get alongside Jeff Gordon. If he's going to do it, he's got to get alongside one and two because you're not going to pass from four. So. View back from Mark Martin, leader of the race. Dominant power here at Darlington. And not looking for back to back wins. Not afraid, of course, to lead because there's no chance he'll be drafted as he might on a super speedway. White flag. One lap to go. Mark Martin. Gordon. Schrader. Schrader can't get the run that he wants. He just can't get that run. He's backed up to get it, but he couldn't. It looks like this is the way to go to we suggested that the complexion of the IROC series could change here at Darlington. It appears that's exactly what has happened. 
as Mark Martin makes that final turn and comes under Doyle Ford's checkered flag and takes the win, followed by Jeff Gordon, Kenny Schrader, and Tom Kendall in fourth place.